lions and tigers and seat weight sensors. Oh my. Before we get started, he didn't send me over a Jeep like he did Eric O from South Main Auto. But Wyatt did send me this cool sticker for his channel. Check it out. Thanks Wyatt, appreciate it. Alright, got a quick tip here on Honda emission readiness codes. Uh, if you ever, let's say, uh, clear the codes, like the uh, malfunction indicator light or check engine light, you clear those codes, or uh, you disconnect the battery or things like that, you're going to lose your emission monitor codes. And uh, in many states, where, in, including here in Arizona, if you try to take your vehicle to get, um, to get it tested and pass emissions, they won't pass the test if you don't have all your emission monitors complete. And so, obviously, if you have a scan tool, you can go into, you know, the readiness monitors. And you can check and see if they've all completed. And you can see, in this case, they show all okay. Malfunction indicator light is off. And then this one is NA. And so this vehicle would pass. But now, what if you don't have a scan tool? Let me show you a quick tip on how to uh, how to check if your vehicle has uh, run these codes or not. All right, now here's a quick way to test and see if your emission uh, monitors are complete without a scan tool. Just take your key, turn it on, look for your check engine light. Don't turn the vehicle on, just put the key into the on position. We're gonna watch it, and if they've all set, and they're all completed, that's going to go out within 15 to 20 seconds or so. So we'll just keep an eye on that check engine light and see if it goes out. And there. Now the uh, emission monitor tests are all complete and this vehicle is good to go. Now I'll show you what it looks like when, they, uh, when they're not set. Alright, now we'll do the same thing again. Put the key on. We'll just turn it to the on position. Once again, we're going to watch our uh, check engine light there for 15 to 20 seconds. And if these monitors have not set or, and set to complete, this is going to blink five times and then go off. There you go. That's how you can tell if the uh, emission monitors are not set if that thing blinks five times just like that. So if you ever notice it blinking like this with the vehicle off, not with it running, but with it off, that's what that means. And that's a quick, easy way to check. All right, now I had to disconnect the battery to fix an SRS problem on this vehicle. So I figured, eh, you know what? It's a good time to talk about emission readiness monitors or readiness codes. And if you didn't know, emission components are required on, you know, most modern vehicles to control pollutants from entering the environment. And, uh, you know, things like uh, EVAP canister, O2 sensors, catalytic converters, those are all examples of, you know, emission control components. And as part of the OBD2 protocol, uh, vehicles are required to monitor or test these components to make sure they work. This is called emission readiness monitors. Um, you can see some of them right here, you know, catalytic converter, EVAP, you know, O2 sensors, things like that. And basically, these monitors run periodically when you drive your car. This is generally referred to as a drive cycle. And, you know, drive cycles, they can be complicated, but in general, they just mean you drove your vehicle for a certain amount of time at a certain speed and certain temperatures, things like that. And when a vehicle is driving, or excuse me, driven for a drive cycle and the computer likes what it sees, um, then the monitors will run and set to complete, like you can see some of them are set here. Um, if it finds an issue, it turns on the check engine light. Uh, if there's no issue, then it just waits and runs during its next drive cycle whenever it's programmed to run. Um, just remember, some codes, you know, you need two trips to turn on the check engine light. Um, and then when all the monitors are complete and there's no issues, in general, your vehicle is going to pass an OBD2 uh, emissions test. So it's just a little background info. Well, there you go. Hope you enjoyed this quick little video on uh, how you can check the readiness codes on your vehicle without uh, using a fancy scan tool, just using your uh, check engine light. And as always, if the video helped you out or you liked it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.